Hi, it's Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. In this video, we're going to see what layers are and why they are so useful. So let's get started. Say I have this picture sitting on a table of my son Carl in New Zealand. And let's pretend I want to label it with a black marker. I know you probably would never use a black marker on the front of your photos, but let's just pretend because I think it will help illustrate how layers work. So I write down in the lower right corner, Carl in NZ. After I write it, I realize it gets kind of lost in the greenery in that part of the picture, but at this point, I'm kind of stuck with it permanently there on my photo. Now let's look at another way of doing it. We'll move our photo over and get a few sheets of clear plastic out on our table. Let's take one of those sheets and lay it right over the top of our photo. And now I can use my black marker on the clear plastic sheet to see the label. But because the original picture isn't written on, I have some options. If I decide I don't want the writing, I could take a little rubbing alcohol on a rag and erase the writing. Or, let me bring the writing back, we could just take the plastic sheet off of the photo and then put a new one over it. And then we'll label it where you can read it easier. I like that better, but I would like to try it in the upper left corner. Well, we can just take that sheet off and put on a new one and then write in a different area to see if we prefer it there. Now let's go over to Photoshop Elements and see how this relates to layers. I have that same photo open in the full edit mode of Photoshop Elements. For this video, I'm using Photoshop Elements 10, but it works pretty much the same in other versions. When you're dealing with layers, the Layers panel is where everything happens. So I'm going to move it over so we can see it a little better. You can just click and drag on the Layers tab to move the Layers panel. And then I'll pull it down a little so it gives us more room. Whenever you open a photo in Elements, it has a background layer in the Layers panel. You can see that it has a thumbnail of our photo, the name background, and a padlock icon. Let's go through the steps we did earlier, but this time we'll do it in Elements, and instead of using transparent plastic sheets, we'll use transparent layers. I'm going to go over to the toolbox and click on the Brush tool to make it active. And now I'm going to write on the photo just like before in the lower right corner. Like our example of the picture on the tabletop, we don't like it there because it's hard to see. But we can't move it and you can't erase it from the background layer. Now let's try doing it with layers. I'll revert back to the beginning. Yes, we did have that option, but for the sake of illustration, let's ignore that. <laughs> okay, now in the Layers panel, click on the Create a New Layer icon. It's the square with the turned over corner icon. And notice it added a new layer to the Layers panel called Layer 1. The thumbnail for Layer 1 is a gray and white checkerboard pattern. That pattern is how Elements re represents transparency. So in our Layers panel, we have our background layer, which is like our picture laying on the tabletop, and we have a transparent layer on top of that. Do you see how it's just like having our photo on a table with a clear sheet of plastic over it? Now I'm going to write again, but I want to make sure I write on the transparent layer instead of the background layer. And in my Layers panel, I can see that Layer 1 is highlighted in blue, indicating that it is active. If it's not active, you can make it active by clicking on it in the Layers panel. Now I'll write again in the lower right corner.
and it looks just like before except now the writing is on layer 1 which is equivalent to my transparent sheet of plastic on the tabletop. So now I have some options. But first I want to explain something else about the layers panel. Notice to the left of the thumbnail of each layer there is an eye icon. I think eye icon is kind of a tongue twister so from now on I'm going to refer to them as eyeballs. Anyway, those eyeballs indicate whether or not a layer is visible and you can turn visibility of layers off and on by clicking on its eyeball. If I click on the eyeball for the background layer, the contents of the background layer becomes invisible in the work area. Now we are just viewing the contents of layer 1. Remember the gray and white checkerboard pattern represents transparency. So basically we're seeing a clear plastic sheet with our writing on it. I'll turn the visibility back on for the background layer by clicking in the area to the left of the thumbnail. And if I click on the eyeball for layer 1, you'll notice that our writing goes away on our image because that's the layer we wrote on. Okay, back to exploring the options we get with layers. Equivalent to our tabletop example, where we took a rag and some rubbing alcohol and erased the type, we can use the eraser tool on any layer except the background layer to erase to transparency. So if I go to the toolbox and select the, the eraser tool by clicking on it and then looking in the layers panel to make sure layer 1 is the active layer, and it is, indicated by being highlighted in blue, I can erase away the type from layer 1. I'll make my brush a little bigger by pressing the right bracket key. There we go. I'm going to undo the eraser to bring back my type. Now I'm going to add another layer by clicking on the Create a New Layer icon in the Layers panel. And a new layer is added above Layer 1 and it's automatically named Layer 2. This is equivalent to putting another clear sheet of plastic over our photo. In our tabletop examples, we removed one plastic sheet off to the side before putting a new one over the photo. The way we can get the same results as that are by hiding the visibility of our first layer. So I'll do that by clicking on the eyeball next to it. I'm going to see how the writing will look in the upper right corner of the photo. So I make sure Layer 2 is active in the Layers panel. If it's not, I just click on it to make it active, and now I can write in the upper right. First I need to get my brush tool from the toolbox, clicking on it. And finally I want to check it out in the upper left. So I'll add a new layer, which is named Layer 3. I'll turn off the visibility for Layer 2 by clicking on the eyeball. And then I'll go ahead and write in the upper left corner. And if I can't decide where I want to have the type, I can keep the layers in the Layers panel. If I print out this photo, it will only print the visible layers. Now I'm sure I'm not going to use Layer 1 because that's the one that's hard to read. I can double check by turning on the visibility by clicking on Layer 1's eyeball. And since I don't want it, I'm going to drag it to the trash but make sure you use the trash can in the layers panel not your computer's general trash can. It's right down at the bottom of the panel. In some versions of Elements it's located at the top of the panel. So that wraps up this video. I hope you have a good understanding of what layers are and why they're useful. There's a lot more to know about layers, so watch for more videos coming soon. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel 
and leave your comments below. Until next time, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com saying take care.